So basically, the first thing we do is we want to create the correct leash length. And when we're using these puppy collars, these puppy prong collars, we want to make sure the dog has just enough room to be right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the leash through my left hand until I feel tension. Right? You can see the direct line from my hand to the dog's neck. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my hand, allow the leash to travel through it until I get to my belt loops or my, the uh, waist of my pants. And then I'm going to loop it over my thumb and then I'm going to drop my hand back down to my side. So my arms are straight. Now if you notice, the line on the leash, there's slack in there. Okay? The puppy's got just enough room to be right. I can hitch my thumb into my pant pocket, okay, or somewhere thereabouts, and there's still enough room for the dog to be correct. The leash is still slack, there's still a lot of, a lot of movement, okay, there's no pressure on the leash. So when we move, good lass, hey, when we move, the leash is still loose. If the dog opposes me, the dog corrects herself. Maisie, hey, heel. Good. She opposes me. I slow down a little bit. Uh -huh. She's looking for her mom who's behind our cameraman. Heel. Sit. Good girl. Very nice. Heel. Sit. Good. Hey. Heel. Uh -uh. And again, she's opposing me. So every time she opposes me, I want to slow down slightly, let her feel that collar pressure, and then let her figure out how to make it go slack. You ready? Heel. No. Sit. Good. You want to go back that way? To the other side of the training table. Heel. Now, if she wants to leave me, I'm going to let her. And then I'm going to turn in the opposite direction. And we're going to go right back to where we were. Right? Loose leash is the goal. Good pup. Sit. Yes. Kennel. Here. Sit. Very good. Right there, pumpkin. Nope. Nope. Yes. Very nice. Good girl. Okay. See how that works?